When I close my eyes So I would not see My Lord did trouble me I've always liked gospel music. I've, I've sung it most of my life. Um, but I've never recorded it before. And when I used to... Um, when, I was in, when I was in Vegas and when Elvis Presley was there, we would be up many nights singing uh, gospel songs because Elvis loved uh, gospel music. And he was surprised that I knew so many gospel songs. So then he, he said to me then, he said, why don't you record this? I said, oh, I will, I will, I will. One day I will. So now that day is, I'm a Christian and I, and I always have been. I, I used to go to chapel as a, as a child in, in Wales. So I sang, I sang in chapel. And um, we would, I would sing hymns in school, you know, and, and gospel songs in school. So it's always, it's always been a part of my life. It troubled me. With the ringing of a bell in the back of my mind. It was suggested on uh, Island Records, asked me would I, would I do an album of hymns to put out at Christmas time. So I thought, well, um, if this is what they want, rather than go into the studio with a choir, you know, and, and an orchestra and make a very nice album, you know, we could have done that and it would have been very nice for Christmas. But I thought, now we have this opportunity, maybe I can get deeper into this and, and do some um, uh, gospel music, but, but do it in, in, in a way that uh, it's not only a Christmas album. You know, you could play this any time. And there's some rock elements in it. There's some blues elements in it. There's some country uh, elements. So there's a lot of different elements. But the, the actual start of it came, um, it was suggested by, uh, by Island Records. And then I had a meeting with Ethan Johns, who was the producer, and he said, let's try a couple of tracks and see what happens. And we did, and it, it turned out great. So then he said, I'd like to do the whole album. Ethan Johns, who said Elton John then. <laughs> Ethan Johns was, uh, was a big uh, element in it because he, um, he played on it. You know, he played guitar and played banjo on, on a couple of tracks. So he drove, the, you know, he knew what he wanted. He had an idea. So he said, uh, you know, once we get this thing, you sing it and we'll follow you. As with some songs, you have to learn them, you know what I mean, and sing them in a certain way in order to fit the arrangement sometimes. But this, because it's live and because the songs are very natural for me to sing, I can pour myself into them easier. You know, my soul is, uh, is there. And, and the feedback I'm getting from this is people say it sounds really natural. It sounds like you. To make me human, to make me whole. 